Good afternoon. It is Tuesday, September 17th, 2019. Very active out in the Atlantic Basin. We have Hurricane Umberto, brand new tropical storm Imelda, and tropical depression number 10 that will likely become tropical storm Jerry within the next 24 to 36 hours. Our ninth name system of the year is Imelda. And then you see next on the list there is Jerry. Umberto is now at a category two strength hurricane. You can see overall in the basin, a lot of areas of convection, thunderstorm activity, tropical disturbance. Very active. Of course, we're just off about a week off of the uh, peak of the hurricane season, which was uh, September 10th. Here's a close up look of uh, Hurricane Umberto, 100 mile per hour winds, gusts up to 120. As of the 2 o'clock advisory, that pressure down to 961. It is moving away from the eastern seaboard, but you see Bermuda is in the crosshairs there, but it looks like it will pass just to the northwest of that island uh, in just a 24 to 36 hours really. Here's how it looks on visible satellite imagery. Very healthy looking storm here. A warm, clear eye. In the last couple images here, you can kind of see that 35 nautical mile diameter size of that eye in terms of Umberto. The winds, hurricane force winds stretch out 60 miles from the center. Tropical storm force 175. Similar wind field to what we saw with Dorian as it was closer to the east coast of the United States. A lot of warm waters ahead for this. The track takes it out into the very warm waters into the uh, northern parts of the Atlantic. W water temperatures 83 to 84 degrees. Of course, you need 80 degree water temperatures or more to sustain tropical development, and it certainly will do so. In fact, it's expected to strengthen just a little bit more. Could be a high end category two, borderline category three major hurricane. The islands of Bermuda under a tropical storm warning in advance of um, Umberto getting close. There's that forecast track for you. Again, taking it off just to the north and west of there and then moving off into the open Atlantic, maintaining hurricane strength for quite a while, uh, right up until the end of the work week and then even into the weekend before it starts to uh, weaken with some cooler ocean temperatures. Uh, again, the bigger picture, we'll zoom in now on uh, Imelda. This was a storm that kind of developed in the last 24 hours, really. It was a disturbance we were watching, but it got itself organized right before making landfall in Freeport, Texas, just within the last couple of hours here. You can sort of see in the last couple of images showing itself a little bit better organization there. Winds right now 40 miles per hour. It is just barely a tropical storm. You need 39 mile per hour winds or greater and you see radar on top of that bringing in a lot of tropical moisture over the Gulf of Mexico and that is going to lead to some flooding in areas around Houston. I'm going to show you the forecast uh, rainfall totals in just a second, but tropical storm warnings are up for the uh, Galveston area all down the coast in central Texas there. Here's how it moves inland. Not going to be around for very long by Thursday morning. It's just a remnant low petering out as it moves over land. Remember, after you take a tropical system away from its fuel source, warm ocean waters, it peters on out. And that's exactly what's expected to happen there. Here's how it looks in terms of the GFS rainfall totals. Again, you're seeing totals up to 10, 12 inches of rainfall here just to the uh, east of uh, Houston. And the European model shows a little more widespread numbers getting up to 10 to 20 inches of rain. Not good uh, for that particular area there. We have one more system to talk about. That is tropical depression number 10 way out in the Atlantic's main development region. The future of this storm takes it off to the west. It will encounter low wind shear, very warm ocean temperatures and uh, moisture in the atmosphere that will be conducive for it to strengthen and kind of organize itself here. Here's how the models see things. A general west northwestward track north of the Leeward Islands, but then a good chunk of them do take it looping out to sea. That will depend on if Umberto opens up enough of a weakness in the overall steering pattern to the north here to allow it to recurve out to sea. If that doesn't happen, this can certainly continue on a westward track. The official Hurricane Center track coming out at 11 o'clock this morning does have it strengthened to our fourth hurricane of the year, a category one storm by the end of the weekend, where it could be somewhere north of Hispaniola. So we'll watch that one closely. The next National Hurricane Center advisory comes out this evening at five o'clock. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday.